I'm Kelly Smith. Welcome to I Love Chili TV's weekly newscast. Making headlines this week in Chile. Lead stories include Onemi is liable for negligence after the tsunami, Peru goes to the polls in Chile, and Bolivia's access to the Pacific. In politics, we will cover President Piñera's announcement of regional development plans. Ali will cover culture, and Pascal will bring us up to speed with sports. Three members of the committee investigating the actions of the authorities during and after the earthquake and tsunami of February 27, 2010, primarily blamed the National Emergency Office, ONEMI, and its former director, Carmen Fernandez, for negligence. According to one member, Christian Campos, the director of ONEMI did not have the ability to lead this organization. All members agreed that the former president, Michelle Bachelet, was not responsible for the failure to warn citizens of the danger of a tsunami, although she was criticized. Former President Bachelet gave her testimony earlier this week. Around 62,000 Peruvians living in Chile went to the polls last weekend to vote in their country's national elections. In Santiago, the five polling stations opened at 8 a.m. with the greatest movement of voters around 11 a.m. last Sunday. After the vote, Ollanta Humala, a former Nationalist Army officer, was found to be leading the race for the presidency with 29.3 percent of the vote. Second place is Keiko Fujimori with 21.1 percent of the vote, while in third position is Pedro Kuczynski. While Umala leading, there have been concerns in some areas of Chile over his anti-Chilean sentiment. Only time will tell how the relationship with our neighbor plays out. Five former presidents of Bolivia have agreed to request from President Evo Morales to form a consultative council to support future demand in Bolivia to Chile in an international court. Morales gathered the former leaders at the presidential palace where he reiterated his determination to take the issue of Bolivia's access to the Pacific to international tribunals. This was without neglecting the dialogue with Chile, despite five years of negotiations as fruitless. A bilateral agenda of 13 points has previously been agreed for discussions between La Paz and Santiago. During a visit to the town of Cochran, President Sebastian Piñera unveiled a development plan for ISIN region which will total an investment of 3 billion U.S. dollars. According to reports by the President, between 2010 and 2014, the public sector will allocate 760 million for the area, which will be matched by a private investment of over 2.1 billion dollars. Sebastian Piñera also announced a development plan for Antofagasta, which will mean an investment of 600 180 million U.S. dollars in the period of 2010 to 2014. The president said this is by far the largest investment of its kind in Antofagasta. Parque Bustamante in Providencia, Santiago will host an organic product fair from Thursday 14th until Sunday 17th of April. Admission is free and the idea is to promote products that are friendly to the environment. Among the products that can be found in the first Eco Providencia Fair are organic baby clothes, soaps with mineral salts from the Atacama Desert, revitalizing water, solar panels, lighting products, gourmet foods, and organic chocolate. Vitacura Civic Center will hold a surf film festival on Tuesday 19th and Wednesday 20th of April. The main attraction of the event is the premiere of 180 South, showing the climber, surfer and photographer Jeff Johnson embarked on a sailboat to fulfill his dream of recreating the epic journey of Douglas Tompkins and his friend from California to Chilean Patagonia in 1968. The event will include films from around the world, including Brazil, Japan and Germany mainly. Finally, why not put your best heels on and head down to Santiago's Vitacura district this weekend for the city's first boutique show fair. Held at Casa Piedra from Friday to Sunday, the fair will fill 800 square meters with shoes from top designers with special offers and discounts available. Entrance is valued at 3,000 pesos.
Welcome to the sports news brought to you by the Sports Zone. In the week 11 in the Chilean Soccer League, top team Universidad Católica scored their ninth win of the season with a two-win victory against Cobreloa in San Carlos de Apoquindo and are stretching the lead with the Chasers. Talking about them, La U de Chile, La Unión Calera and O'Higgins were all unable to close the gap with La Católica this week. La U de Chile drew at two in the north against Iquique. O'Higgins put everyone to sleep with a scoreless draw against Union Española and Rodriguez saved La Carrera with a last minute goal to steal the point to Palestino with a 1-1 tie. If we look at the table after week 11, well, La Católica is still on top with 28 points, stretching their lead to 7 points with 2nd position La U de Chile. And in 3rd position, we have a tie with O'Higgins and La Carrera with 20 points each. As far as Colo Colo is concerned, El Grande, not so grande, is still in the middle of the table with 13 points in 11th position. Next week's action, great matchups for you this weekend. La Carrera will receive La U de Chile in La Carrera. Also, Higgins will travel to La Florida to meet Audax Italiano. And the match of the weekend, the first derby of the season, El Grande Colo, El Cacique, will receive El Monumental, defending champion, top of the league, the white shirts, La Católica. Don't miss it. In Copa Libertadores, well, La U de la Católica is the first Chilean team to qualify to the round of 16. La defending champion, the Chilean team beat their Chilean rival, La Unión Española, by the score of 2-1 in their last game of the group phase to clinch the group 4 with 11 points and moving on 9 years after to the knockout round. And in Group 5, well, Colo Colo is hanging tough, still on top of the group after Game 5, thanks to a great victory against Deportivo Táchira and in Monumental by the score of 2-1. Colo Colo will play the final match of the group stage next week at home against Cerro Porteño. That will decide the winner of the Group 4. That's it for the news this week, folks. We'll see you next time. Kelly Smith reminding you to visit us on the web at ilovechili.cl. Also, don't forget to watch I Love Chili TV every week to get your news about chili in English. Thanks for watching.